Today, the S2000 gets a fresh set of new wheels. All right, so I, I made a little boo-boo, okay? I actually had another video I was putting together on my very first mod on the S2000, which was a steering wheel. Well, because of my setup, I didn't have audio in one big part of the clip and then another clip I must have forgotten to hit record so long story short um, it, it got messed up and it wasn't usable so steering wheel was already in the car I wasn't gonna uninstall it so here it is well, that don't make it, better. Better, better. it is the Mugen full Alcantara 350 millimeter steering wheel with the NRG short hub and quick release. I've, I've been wanting a quick release in my car for the longest time. I wanted to try it out on the S2000. I might do it on the FK8 sometime down the road, but for now, I have it in the car. I, I did the install myself. Um, I was a little bit hesitant because it um, there was an airbag resistor that I had to uh, wire in there and I don't really like dealing with the electronics all that much but I managed to get it to work um, I goofed in the installation I forgot to put the grounding ring in there so the horn didn't work at first but we got that in there and now that's working as well so it's fully functional uh, horn works no SRS light everything's beautiful and let's take a look at it here I don't know if you guys can see that, but I also got the upgraded Neochrome bolts from NRG, just to dress it up a little bit. Really nice steering wheel, feels great in the hands. I love it, just snaps on real easy too. Just like that. All right, and also I wanted to use today to give you a brief overview of the S2000 that I picked up because um, I realized my introduction video was only that it was only really letting you guys know that i got an s2000 i didn't really tell you much about the history on this car so i picked this up from a nice gentleman uh down in monterey he had it not too long but he always kept a garage and changed the oil all using oem stuff clean carfax no accidents uh, mostly stock I mean it was it was the ideal situation and it was the Grand Prix white was which was the exact color that I wanted I spent a long time looking for an s2000 I nearly pulled the trigger on a 2001 a few months ago it was uh, Silverstone gray I'm sure that would have turned out to be a good car but I felt a little weary uh, picking it up from out of state and sight unseen. So as, as helpful as that dealership was, I ended up backing out at the last minute because I just, I don't like buying big ticket items like that when I can't get my hands on it and look at it in person. So um, I'm glad I waited because what I really wanted was an AP2. That's what this is. It's a 2004 AP2. Uh, paint is perfect. I'm pretty sure the car was repainted at some point. Doesn't bother me at all. Um, I'd much rather have somebody else repaint the car than me. So it paint is pretty fresh. And the wheels, which we are going to be changing out today, these are the stock AP2 wheels. It looks like one of the previous owners Plasti dipped these things which is kind of funky if you look here i tried scraping off some of the residue already but you'll see it kind of in here and you know around the edges on the cap and you know it's just it's kind of everywhere and looks like this wheel kind of got messed up the finish on the wheel got messed up a little bit some over here i mean it's just it's in it's everywhere there's plasti dip everywhere you know and you can see it you can definitely see a layer of it on the inside of the wheel well so 
I probably would have been okay with keeping the stock wheels on there a little bit longer, but because that was such an eyesore and it's something my eyes went right to every single time I walked up to my car, I wasn't exactly thrilled about um, <clears throat> having a look at that all the time. So I was lucky enough to pick up a set of Volk TE37 SLs that are in mint condition. And a bit of a weird spec, but in a good way. So obviously I'm, I'm gonna be tracking this car. I'm not going to use the Volk wheels to track, but I like the idea of having the correct offset on a car so I can run as much tire as possible with no rubbing. And uh, Titan 7 makes their wheels, I believe the offset, if I'm not mistaken, for the S2000 is plus 58 offset or plus 57, it's quite high. Uh, but you need it on the S2000 to, to clear more tire. Well, these Volk T37s have a plus 57. It's, it's like one less than what the Titan 7s are. And I know Titan 7 uh, purposely fits their wheels, so it's for track guys, right? You can get as much of a meaty tire on the car as possible. Uh, those TE37 SLs, it's very unusual to find one in that high an offset because most people want like this lip and a big concave and I, I, that's cool and everything, but I'm not Stance Boy Nation here, okay? I mean, I, I want the look. I want it to look good. I want Volks, but I don't need to have a fat lip on my fender and dumping the nuts on the ground. I don't need all that. Okay, and I don't need 20 degrees of camber or something stupid. So not me, no offense. If you guys like that stuff, that's great. That's not me. So here's a car in its mostly stock looking form. I'm gonna show you the re uh, wheels real quick. They came with some very nice rubber as well. I don't remember the tire, so we're gonna take a look at that before I blur it out what it actually is. But they're really sticky tires. And then we're gonna get them on the car and then I'll give you guys a final shot of the car. All right, let's go take a look at the wheels real quick. I'm not going to give you that good a view because I want you guys to see it on the car. That's part of the fun, right? It's such a mess in here. So a uh, little preview. I've got newer AP2, actually AP1, but these are the same style seats that are in my car now, but they're black. That was my intention was to go with black interior because that's probably the rattiest thing in my car now are the beige seats. They're horribly cracked. They smell awful. They smell moldy. I had to get rid of them. So I found some much newer, much nicer seats. Uh, picked them up for very cheap, which is awesome. So those will be going in at one point. And then here are the wheels little sneaky poopoos little sneaky peekies all right so uh let's get the car set up i'm going to get it jacked up and throw these on Even the lug nuts on these wheels were plasty there. Ah.
The car looks sick. Oh my God, I love these wheels on the S2K. I'm so glad I was able to find them. I really wanted to get back to T37s. I had them on my FK8. Um, I'm a little bit sad that I had to get rid of them because I ended up bending one of them on track. So I went with a different set, but I'm, I'm really happy to get back into the Volks. They belong on this car. The pressed graphite looks so good against the Grand Prix white. I, I couldn't be happier. The fitment is pretty good. Uh, there is a little bit of a rub, so I think I probably need to uh, roll the fenders a little bit, which is what I plan on doing anyhow, because um, I want to fit some beefier tires in there for track duties. I want to be able to run at least 255s all the way around the car. And from everything that I read on the internet, even with the plus 57 uh, offset, you still need a little bit of a roll uh, on the fenders, which is fine. Totally fine with that. So anyways, that's it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you think about the wheels in the comment. Let me know what you'd like to see next with the S2K project. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay hungry, stay fast, stay tuned. I'm Michael Baxi, and I'm out. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends. I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. Up early when the sun is out. Not setting out my own soul, but those real ones, they coming out. Oh look, who's reaching out? Old friends want to feature now. They don't work, so they need